sorry, Ninita, but your doll isn't hurt much. See, it's only her arm. We'll get you a new one as soon as we get to Dodsboro. But this is my favorite baby. I don't want any new doll. Betty! Mommy, look at Pepita. What's wrong, dear? Pepita had a slight accident. And I'm afraid your little girl will never forgive us. But she dropped her doll on the ground and... Betty, I told you never to play in the road. I'm sorry, Mommy. Oh, don't scold her. She's a good girl. Maybe Pepita can be fixed. A piece of wire, a little flower pin, and an arm will be as good as new. You mean you can make her better again? You're talking to a doctor, El Toro. Senora, may I take Pepita into the house and see what I can do for her? Of course, that's very kind of you. Soon she will be well again, though her arm may be a little stiff. Are you really a doctor? <laughs> El Toro is everything. Ranchero, horseman, handyman, prospector, protector of women. Yeah, I'm glad Senor Carson mentioned that. You're not Kit Carson. That's right. I've heard my father talk about you so much. He was on General Fremont's staff when you were a scout. Did you know him? His name was Kincaid. George Kincaid? Mm -hmm. Oh, I should say I knew him. Well, I'm Alice. Alice Kincaid. I uh, took back my maiden name when my husband died and I came here to teach school. You're a very attractive widow if you pardon El Toro saying so. <laughs> a lady always likes compliments. Huh. El Toro has lots of them. He never runs out of them. Ah, uh, here you are, Niñita. Look, Mommy. Oh, well, that's wonderful. And uh, have you paid the doctor? I don't have any money. Oh, Dr. Altor will sell for a big kiss. <laughs> I do hope you'll come back and see us sometime. Oh, you can be sure of that, senora. See Adios. You uh, see ya. Pardon me, ma'am. Is the uh, sheriff scutter about? No. But you can wait for him if you've a mind to. If you don't mind my saying so, I've never seen a woman working in the sheriff's office before. I'm the postmistress. Sheriff Scudder and I share quarters. <laughs> Perfumed from some hussy, I dare say. You have a very hard job, senora. Senorita. Senorita? Oh, impossible. One so charming as yourself could not possibly have escaped all the men. <laughs> you are a flatterer, I'm afraid. Oh, Kit Carson. Glad to see you. And you, El Toro. You met my sister Lucy? Oh, indeed. These are the men I sent for to help me smoke out Trigger Dawson. Well, goodness knows you're needed here. I'm frightened to death thinking of a bandit like Dawson at large. Why? A woman isn't safe on the streets. Particularly you, senorita. I'm sure that if that bandido saw you, he would whisk you away. <laughs> <laughs> when did Dawson break out of jail, Sheriff? Last week. He missed it hanging by half a day. One of his henchmen shot the sheriff, got the keys, and off they went. But how do you know he's hanging around here? One of my posse spotted him and gave chase, but Dawson was too fast for him. I suppose he's laying low out in the woods somewhere, waiting for a chance to hold up a stagecoach or rob a bank. With Kit Carson and myself on his trail, his days are numbered, senor. I hope so. Oh, uh, don't forget, Kit, there's a big reward for him, dead or alive. A reward or no reward, Sheriff, we'll do our best to bring him in. Well, I'm banking on it. Good luck. <laughs> Allow me, senorita. <laughs> Gracias. You ought to be ashamed. Well, if I make her heart flutter, it's a good deed. And anyway, it keeps me in practice. You forget about women. We got a job to do. El Toro will never fail you, amigo. But women he cannot forget. Buenas tardes, senora. Won't you come in? Oh, gracias. Dr. El Toro is making the call. How is the patient Pepita? 
Oh, Miss not bothering her? See, she's all better. See? Oh, bueno. Maybe I should put Pepita to bed. She should have lots of rest. You're a good little mother, Ninita. Pepita's shoe. I'll give it to Betty. This is a cat. This is a dog. Uh, Senora, what is this? Tomorrow's spelling lesson for my class. But what does it say? You mean you can't read? El Toro is a stupid hombre. He cannot read, he cannot write. Would you do something for me? It's, it's a big favor. Well, I'd be glad to if I can. Well, I cannot go to school. They will laugh at me. But maybe here you could teach me to read and write a little. Well, I... I never taught anyone but children. But I guess I could try. Oh, you're very kind. Do you suppose you could give me the first lesson now? Let's see what you can do. Uh, this is a cat. C-A-T. Cat. C-A-T. Cat. This is a dog. D-O-G. Dog. D-O-G. Dog. You're doing very well. Now see if you can write cat on the blackboard. I'll help you. Yeah. How, how do you spell beautiful, senora? That is not today's lesson, El Toro. Oh. Oh, Miss Lucy, how nice to see you. I was just dropping by and... Well... I'm so sorry I didn't know you had company. Oh, I'm not company. I'm here at school. D-O-G, cat. See, I'm learning. D-O-G is dog, not cat, El Toro. You really mean you're teaching him to spell? I'm trying. So that I can write love letters to the senorita I adore. Suppose you practice writing cat while Miss Lucy and I have a visit. Well, if you're sure, I'm not intruding. <laughs> not at all. Well, I really came by to do a little borrowing. I'm going to make some jam, and I'm completely out of jars. Oh, I have more than I can use. I don't see how you keep such a perfect house. What with taking care of your little daughter, and teaching school, and entertaining gentlemen friends. Well, it's really nothing. I'll get you the jars. You're so sweet, dear. Are you sure that woman's only teaching you to spell? Si, senorita. She said she was teaching him to read and write, but that seems pretty far-fetched to me. You don't like that school teacher, do you, Lucy? I think she's a bad influence. Every man in town is making eyes at her. Well, there ain't no law against a gal being pretty, is there? And there's nothing wrong with her helping some poor man get educated. She's a good woman. And it ain't fair for you to be turning her down. Pooh! She's got you fooled, too. No, oh, I ain't got time to argue about such things. Getting Trigger Dawson is much more important to me. Say, he's a bad-looking hombre, ain't he? This place is getting me down. Having a hide out here in this hole. Been in jail was better than this. Why don't we mosey into town and bust it up? That bank ought to be a setup for us. Not with Kit Carson on it, ain't it? We're going to be getting out of here maybe tomorrow. Just as soon as I hear if Duke can put us up in Chico. How about some more coffee, Buzz? That's it. We're out of everything, even beans. Well, in this town, we got some more grub. Well, there's a school teacher living right on the edge of town. She ought to be easy pickings. Well, let's get going. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray to the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray to the Lord my soul to take. God bless my dear sweet mother and my baby Pupita and that nice Dr. Toro who made it all better. Amen. Good night, darling. Sleep tight. Gun's asking for a sack of grub, miss, and I wouldn't waste no time arguing about it. What? Where's the kitchen? Wait a minute, Buzz. I'll handle this. Well, 
Nice layout you've got here. Yeah, very cozy. Maybe I ought to move in. It'd be kind of messy with the law after me. Get out of here, Trigger. What's the matter, honey? Ain't you glad to see me? Oh. Stop it. I was praying I'd never have to see you again. What's the matter? Afraid I might ruin your reputation? We talked that out a long time ago, Trigger. When I found out who you were and left you. I see. And now the nice little school mom don't want the folks around here to know who her husband is. I'm not thinking about myself. I'm thinking of Betty. If the people knew her father was Trigger Dawson. Maybe they don't have to know. Yeah, maybe they don't. What are you and the kid getting by on? The money you make teaching school? Why should that worry you? It don't. But that $5,000 Betty's grandmother left her does. Every cent of it is in the bank. I'm holding it in trust for her. Yeah, well, I could use it myself. That money is Betty's. Maybe it is, but I want it. It's what Betty's bringing up. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said I want it. But you're not going to get it, Trick. I hate you even more than I ever did. You don't seem to understand, honey. I'm making you a deal. Just give me that money and I'll get out of your life forever. I'll be around after the money tomorrow night. That'll give you time to get to the bank. And I wouldn't try anything funny if I was you, unless you don't care about yourself or Betty. Well, honey, it's been nice talking over old times, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. Couldn't you get the stuff? We're picking up a lot more than a few beans, Buzz. We're making a real haul tomorrow night. But it's your duty. Here she comes now. I hope you got backbone enough not to let her wind you around her finger. Good morning, Sheriff. You wanted to see me? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, not as sheriff, though, but as head of the school board. Uh, won't you sit down? I don't hanker to do this, but it's my duty to question you. Question I... me, but I don't understand. Well, my sister here says that you're unfit to teach school at Doddsboro. And I'm insistent on your dismissal. That's ridiculous. I think it's shocking, your conduct. Of course, I want to give you every chance to explain, and I hope it won't be necessary for me to call a meeting of the board for action. I I'm very upset, really, over certain things, things you wouldn't understand. If you could postpone it until... Well, until sometime next week, maybe. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to get out of it so easy this time. If you think I'm going to wait until you've had time to trump up a story. All right, Miss Lucy, we'll have it out right now. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I don't know what these soldiers are all about, but I'll tell you one thing. My conscience is clear. Like I said, ma'am, this is my sister's idea. She seems to think that you... I'll tell her myself, Amos, if you don't mind. I saw it all with my own eyes. You saw what? You were entertaining gentlemen callers last night, or do you deny it? Well? Last night I was... No, I don't deny it. You see, Amos, how right I was? And to think our innocent little children should be taught by a woman like that. Just a minute, Miss Lucy, I've got something to say. I knew this young lady's father, and there never was a finer man or a finer family. We're not trying the family, Mr. Carson. You heard her admit she had gentlemen callers. Maybe she'd like to tell us what they were doing there. I don't see why I have to explain my actions outside of school. Maybe you can't. Suppose I do. Those two gentlemen callers that you're so worried about happen to be El Toro and myself, right? Yes, sí, amigo. I suppose she was teaching him to spell at that time of night. That's exactly what she was doing. And I suppose you noticed when the two of us left. Well, that seems to settle that. Sorry, ma'am, I was only doing my duty. Now, what have you got to say, Lucy? Nothing. Except it might be better if our teachers spent more time with the children and less with certain other people. If you're referring to stupid El Toro, senorita, he's not so fast as those bright little niños. He has to take more of the teacher's time. Uh, could I have another lesson tonight, senora? No, El Toro, not tonight, please. Uh, let's fix those bridles, Tara. I did 
not think I would live to see you guilty of a favor, amigo. But it was for a good cause. If Miss Lucy's looks could kill you, it'd be a dead hombre now. Yes, I know. But I felt so sorry for Alice. She seemed so frightened. See, si. why did she not want to tell who those two men were? You noticed that too. See, si, amigo, I'm not blind. The senor is in some sort of trouble. I'm sure of it. We ought to go to her place tonight, whether we're invited or not. Toro, you're a mind reader. Just as soon as I get my hands on that money, we're getting out of this part of the country. $5,000 right in our laps. Yeah, what a setup. She has to pay off. She ain't got no choice. I want to be back in an hour, boys. We'll be waiting, Trigger. You better come along, Buzz, just in case. Keep you waiting. Ain't you gonna ask us in? Have a chair, Buzz. Make yourself at home. My right palm's itching, Buzz. That means money, don't it? Yep, about five thousand dollars. Well, I was hoping you'd change your mind. You're not going through with this trick. Well, now, what do you think? What about Betty? Well, what about her? I told you that money is hers. You're robbing your own child, Trigger. Now, ain't that just too bad? She's breaking our hearts, ain't she, bud? She sure is. Look, honey, I don't want to get rough with you, because sometime I get mighty nasty. Now get that money and cut out the stalling. All right. You win. That's more like it, ain't it, Buzz? Yep. Just show me the color of that money, and you can kiss me goodbye forever. It's here, in this drawer. Got it out of the bank this morning. Don't move. Now I'm playing it rough. Put your hands up. Put them up. You're not as smart as you thought you were, are you, Trigger? I never thought I'd want to kill you, but you've asked for it, and the law's on my side. Mommy! Mommy! All right, get that money. Quiet, dear. I've told you. I never took it out of the bank. Come on, get it. It's not here, I said. You're lying. Look in that door, Buzz. Oh, you've got to believe me, it isn't here. We'll find out. It ain't in there, Trigger. All right, where is it? I've told you, it is still in the bank. Don't lie to me. Stop hurting my mommy. Please, you've got to believe me, it's not here. All right, I believe you. Now, sit down and listen to what I've got to say. Now, get this and get it straight. You're taking that money out of the bank the first thing tomorrow morning, understand? Yes. Then you're getting on the stage and taking it into Sutter's Fork. That's where you'll drop the money off at. Is that clear? Yes. And you're going to keep on riding to the end of the line. And you better not try tipping off the law. I promise. You don't have to promise me anything, honey, because this time I'm going to make sure. Grab the kit, Buzz. You can't say you are my dog. Daddy! Daddy! Ellen, shut up. Daddy, don't! My little girl.
cover. that you and El Toro get that reward. Oh, we're turning that over to a certain young lady, aren't we, El Toro? Si, to a senorita who is close to my heart. It's all for you, niñita. Your mother will put it in the bank for you until you're a big girl. Won't you say thank you, Betty? Gracias, senor. Trigger Dawson wanted dead or alive. $2,000 reward. And you said you couldn't read. Well, El Toro learns very fast. 